In today's world, it seems like the most successful people are always those who make their money through investments, rather than by working 9 to 5 jobs. But how can we become rich when almost everyone around us disagrees with the idea that this is possible? Don't give up just yet. Here are the differences between the old way of becoming rich and the new way, so you can figure out which one works best for you. Save your earnings. In order to become rich, it's important that you save your earnings. You should use some of your money for common expenses like bills and food. However, if you want to build wealth, put as much money as possible into a savings account, or several, and leave it there. Don't touch it unless you really need it. Once you've built up an emergency fund equal to three months of living expenses, start moving more money into different investment accounts, so that they'll grow over time. Over 10 years, saving a mere $5 per day will add up to more than $36,000. That's enough money to buy something nice like a new car. And let's not forget compound interest, putting off saving even that small amount will cost you in ways you might not be able to imagine now. Invest in something that will make you money. Investing in something that can make you money is always a good place to start, especially if you are short on cash and time. So, what sort of investments can you get into without breaking your bank? Think real estate. While it might be easier said than done, learning how to invest in real estate is simple if you know where to look. While there are many things that could put up a barrier between yourself and real estate investment success, let's focus on one specific thing, location. In order for any investment in real estate, whether rental property or any kind of commercial property, to work well for you, you need to find an area that will generate positive cash flow from day one. That way, once all costs have been accounted for, for example, maintenance fees, your investment should at least cover all its ongoing expenses by generating monthly rent checks with some leftover as profit. Good locations do exist. But first, remember that when investing in real estate, any type of real estate, don't go overboard on anything beyond rentals, slash commercial properties, Avoiding purchasing private homes has been mentioned several times above because they come with emotional attachments which may alter rational thinking when looking at things purely financially. Remember not to lose sight of reality. Don't invest all your earnings in one stock slash company slash or brand. Investing in a single company or sector is inherently risky. It doesn't matter how promising your company or investment appears, you could lose everything if something goes wrong, and, 9 times out of 10, it will go wrong. Don't gamble with all your savings. Invest in low-cost index funds instead and give yourself some breathing room. Diversification may not be sexy, but it is essential for long-term wealth building and financial stability. Consider Warren Buffett's advice, never invest in a business you can't understand. Understanding every aspect of an investment before buying provides greater peace of mind and less opportunity for regret later on when things don't work out as planned. You should also learn about and educate yourself about other ways to make money. If making widgets is the only way that comes naturally to you, consider other areas where you might create wealth like starting your own company, if no one else has done so already, becoming a landlord, or leveraging any number of platforms such as Uber, Airbnb, etc. So what's more important than focusing on just one way? Finding multiple avenues to success and income because most people eventually run into problems they are unable to solve themselves due to lack of opportunities slash accessories like time, finances slash capital, etc. You cannot have exponential growth over time without solving multiple complex problems at once and being flexible enough to adopt new platforms accordingly. Invest in yourself first. If you are an entrepreneur, one of your primary roles is sales. If you can't sell yourself, how can you expect to sell your product or service? Invest in your own personal and professional development by taking classes, 
networking with other business owners, and studying industry trends. Focus on developing skills that will increase revenue at work or allow you to grow revenue elsewhere by working less, for example, hire a virtual assistant. Ultimately, investing in yourself first means building up an emergency fund that allows you to focus on making money while others do what they do best, create products and services customers need. You may also want to consider seeking out coaching, if only for periodic check-ins on your progress or setbacks, so your goals stay top of mind as well as manageable. You can't control everything, you just have to be prepared for whatever happens. Have a side hustle. Setting up a side hustle is a great way to test out your entrepreneurial skills and gain experience before you take on something full-time. It's also an easy way to make some extra cash and earn something that you can put toward your main business. If you're looking for more direction, check out how two of our co-founders got started with their own side hustles. Meanwhile, here are a few tips to get you started looking into freelance marketplaces like Upwork or Fiverr. These websites allow people all over the world to sell their services at any time, whether it's writing, design work, or data entry, but there are certain requirements in order to set yourself up like a pro. Take steps to build credibility, many platforms will require recommendations from other users or clients who have worked with you before. To get these references up front, offer free services, or very low-cost ones, during off-peak hours so colleagues and friends will be happy to write them for you, and in turn, help build your new profile's credibility while they do it. Make good investments every day. An investment is a form of risk, in which someone invests money or other resources, such as time, with an expectation of some kind of positive return. An investment is a financial asset purchased with an expectation of gaining value. Any such asset can be considered an investment if there is no assurance that you can sell it at a higher price than what you paid for it and make a profit by doing so. If there are two parties involved in an exchange where one party agrees to pay out more on each transaction that they accept from another, then any profit created between these two parties could be considered an investment on both sides. This is why nearly every institution accepts investments from stockholders as well, when one side makes again and another loses, then both sides are invested since neither actually have anything left after paying out their gains and losses, both have made investments in hopes of profiting later on down the line through future transactions. A real-life example would be trading your truck for stock options, if you own 10% of a company's shares then you have essentially invested 10% of your truck into the said company. Earn passive income. If you're looking for a way to earn additional income then passive income is what you need. Passive income is money that comes in consistently, regardless of whether or not you work at it. We've all heard of famous people who earned a fortune just by writing a book and then sitting back and collecting royalties on every copy sold. If they can do it, why can't we? Now don't get me wrong, I love blogging and publishing my own books but that won't be enough to fund your retirement and your family will depend on you as well. That's where passive income comes into play. Find out how to start earning extra cash today. Start small and build up an empire over time that pays big checks month after month after month. It all starts with one step and eventually leads to another. Stop making excuses and take action now before you run out of time. After all, there are only so many hours in a day, and only so many days in a year, remember that. In conclusion, if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more informative content daily. If you have any questions or concerns feel free to ask in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.